Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lainey and it's time again for episode 5 of Obi-Wan Kenobi. I could not be more excited. Last week, I know I said that episode was a little bit underwhelming, which is fine. Like, you're gonna have episodes like that in a series, but it wasn't bad, so I'm not too worried about it. I really think that this next episode is gonna be really really good i really hope i'm right but i'm really excited i'm expecting that we see qui-gon in this episode i don't know how they could possibly wait for that until the very end you know in the last episode i don't see qui-gon not showing up until then because then it would feel rushed like i said before i really hope that's not the case so i'm really hoping that we see him in this episode other than that i don't know i'm excited to keep seeing obi-wan come back into his own a little bit and take back his abilities with the force and wielding his lightsaber it was so cool and i'm excited to see him and leia's relationship grow and i'm really hoping we see a lot more vader i want to see more vader a lot more screen time for vader because he's so cool i think we can all say that so far vader's scenes are the best thing that have come out of this show so far so let's just get right into it i can't believe it said that some people may find some scenes disturbing that's promising Oh my god. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> oh my god, I'm not gonna cry. Okay. <sighs> okay. Oh my gosh. Alright, we gotta get through this. We gotta get through this. Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't believe he's right there. Oh my gosh. Maybe I stand more of a chance this time. Are you? Gosh, I cannot believe that just happened. Grand Inquisitor. Oh, she got the job. We leave for Jabim at once. Oh man, he's coming. He's coming. It is not them we need to break. Mm. There goes Lola. Wow. I wonder if they those are like relocated, they just leave their lightsabers behind. Oh my god. I'm loving this. This is crazy. If we defend our position together, then by the time they get inside, we'll be gone. You heard the general? Oh. It's not play time right now, do as she asks. You trust me? I trust her. That's right. That's adorable. I have to go. He's getting a phone call? A transmission. Grill. I really like Tala. I like that we got her backstory a little bit. I really like that. I'll buy as much time as I can. Hmm. Is he trying to figure out what Reva's motives are? The droid is gonna fire that gun. <laughs> That's kind of funny. There she is. Oh my gosh. Dang. That was amazing. I loved that conversation. That's kind of what we guessed her motives were. It was a little, it was expected, which is fine. Like, I love that storyline. How are more of them not being shot with all those stormtroopers? That loader droid's got good aim. Don't die, Tala. Don't die. Oh, shoot. Okay. No. I don't want her to die. Oh, he's protecting her. I really like Tala. I'm really sad that happened. There are other ways to fight. Hmm. How are we gonna get the rematch of the century without his lightsaber? I'm excited to see. Hmm. She's gonna fight him. This is so intense. Your weapon's gone. It's over. Hayden looks so good. He looks so good. Nice. 
That was very easy for her. This feels like a finale. It does not feel like the second to last episode. Haja's dropping stuff. Oh, wow. That was effortless for him. Wow. Oh, man. Not even using his lightsaber. Giving her a fair fight? Wow. This is sad. Did you really believe I did not see it, youngling? He knew. <gasps> Revenge does wonders for the will to live, don't you think? Wow. Like Maul. So the Grand Inquisitor was working with Vader the whole time. If Reva's really dead, that was a very sad way for her to go. Kind of expected, though. No. Oh no. Is she gonna go after Luke or is she gonna tell Vader about Luke? Which obviously that's not possible because we know what happens in A New Hope, but is she gonna go after Luke herself? Oh my gosh. Um... Are you kidding me? <laughs> if this episode didn't blow your mind, I don't know what it's gonna take. This episode was by far the best thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Obviously, the best episode by far. I cannot believe everything that we saw in that episode. I'm gonna rewatch that episode so many times. I am obsessed with it already, and I saw it once, so <laughs> I'm so obsessed with it. Hayden Christensen coming back into the role absolutely perfect. Everything was perfect. I cannot believe we got to see him and Obi-Wan in a little training sequence and the choreography and everything was amazing. And just that one lesson gave us so much more of like what Obi-Wan remembers of Anakin and how he's dealing with Vader now based on what he already knew for Anakin. And we're gonna see if that's still true if Anakin Vader is still struggling with his need for victory or not. So Obi-Wan said, until you prove that you're not your own undoing, Anakin, you will always be a Padawan. And I feel like that might correlate to when Vader in A New Hope says to Obi-Wan, when you left me, I was but the learner. That might be because in this state right now, he remembers what Obi-Wan said to him. And right now, this Vader we're seeing in the show is the one that still needs victory so much that it's clouding his judgment and he's still his his own undoing. So maybe in A New Hope, that's Vader saying, I'm over that now. I'm not that person anymore that you knew me to be. And if that's true, that's crazy. I loved it. I loved getting Tala's backstory. Really sad that she died. I told you guys in the last episode, I could kind of feel it coming. She was just that kind of character. She was really cool. Seemed like the kind of character that would get a sacrifice and a death send off in the show. Yeah, I'm sad to see her go. Reva's story finally came together. It was pretty much exactly what I was expecting, probably what you guys were expecting. She was one of the younglings in the beginning of the show. She wasn't really going for Obi-Wan, she was going for Vader. And honestly, I like, I really, really like that end choreography there that we got with Reva against Vader. How at first he wasn't even using his lightsaber, he was using the force to block her lightsaber and it was cool. I thought it was so cool. Can you guys believe that we just got that? Can you believe that we saw Hayden Christensen back as Anakin? I love it. <laughs> I'm so obsessed with it. Every time he came on, I could feel like tears coming into my eyes. I'm sorry if I wasn't really reacting too much because I was like really zeroed in on what was going on and listening and oh my gosh I'm just so obsessed with it and like I was saying before it felt like a finale and I did not expect the end to be Reva hearing Bale's message and now she's going after Luke I don't know but it's so cool that Obi-Wan could feel that in the force he could feel that Luke is in danger are we going back to Tatooine I'm really really interested to see how that happens how is Reva still alive one it might be because you know how the Grand Inquisitor said revenge will do wonders for the will to live which is really cool 
that might be how Riva stays alive in this instance, but is obviously a direct reference, probably not a reference to Maul, but that's exactly what happened with Maul. His revenge that he wanted to get on Obi-Wan was so strong that he survived getting cut in half. Maybe Riva can survive a little stab through the chest. I don't know. The Grand Inquisitor did in the stomach because apparently he has two of them. I think the actor's name's Rupert Friend. I really like his portrayal of the Grand Inquisitor. I don't care that his head's not big enough. I think he looks really, really good. Vader's display of how powerful he is, insane. I love seeing that. I think that's exactly what we needed to see out of Vader in this point in his life. I really, really loved it. I really like that he knew that Reva was a youngling. I'm not sure if he knew because the Grand Inquisitor came back and said, hey, she tried to kill me or if he knew the whole time. I wouldn't be surprised if he knew the whole time. <laughs> Tala mentioned that she was formerly an Imperial officer. The initial mission that she was on that kind of changed her mind about everything was when she was on Garel. I'm not sure. I heard Garel. I know you guys are going to tell me where it's from. I need to look it up because I know that that's like a significant place. We've heard of that place before. Hang on. Let's just see. Okay, so Garel was in Rebels. That's where we've heard it before. Is that where they decide to have their rebel base in Rebels? Is that, if I'm remembering correctly, that's where Garel was? Like, remember in Rebels, the Inquisitors are after Ezra and they were fighting to save the Force-sensitive younglings and Ezra's hanging on to the Ithorian child, I think. And he's like, maybe when this is over, you can come visit us on Garel. And then the, I don't know which sister she is. I think she might be the seventh, I don't know. But the Inquisitors that are following him hear that message because her droid was recording him and all that. So that's where we've heard Garel before. At least that's what I remember. There was an Imperial presence on Garel once, so I wonder what happened so that the rebels were able to use it as a base later on. That's just this cool small little detail that I noticed. You guys, I've been wanting to do a shirt check in like all of my videos, but I keep forgetting because you guys are like, some people said like, oh, I can't see your shirt because your hair's covering it. And I was like, oh yeah, you're right. So I'm gonna do a shirt check right now. And this is my Clone Wars shirt. It's probably one of my favorite shirts that I own from Star Wars and it has like all the clone helmets on it. I got it from Five Below. I am obsessed with it. I wear it every day. All of my friends have seen me wear it over and over and over again. That's the shirt of the day. I don't even know what to expect in the finale. I don't know what to expect, but the rematch is probably still coming. We gotta get Leia home. We gotta see what happens with Luke now. We gotta see the rematch. Leia has to forget that she knew who Obi-Wan Kenobi was. I don't know how we're gonna tie all of that up in one more episode, but it's gonna come together. I know it's gonna come together. It's gonna be so good. <sighs> This was amazing. I can't wait to watch it again and I cannot wait to hear what you guys think about this episode. So please comment down below and let me know what you think. Let me know what you think's gonna happen with Luke. Let me know what you think's gonna happen in the end. I really wanna know. I can't wait to talk to you guys about it. I'm so excited. <laughs> if you like this video and if you wanna see more videos and more reactions and frankly just more Star Wars, make sure to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications and you won't miss a single post that I make. And I can't wait for you guys to see my reaction to next week's episode. I can't wait to react to it. Thank you guys so much for all the new subscribers. Welcome in. I'm so glad that you're here. I can't wait to keep talking Star Wars with you. And make sure that you go follow me on Instagram. It's at it's Laney B. Make sure you follow me there. I try to stay more daily with my content with you guys on there and stories and everything. I've been posting about a Q&A that I'm going to do in the future. I'm either going to do it this week or I'm going to do it after next week's episode. It's going to take me a while to get everything together so that I answer all of your questions because I want to do it right. Yeah, just let me know what you guys think and I will see you next time. Bye!